Hi friends, how are you? Fine. Okay, so we have today another small passage which we will become, we will make it smallest. Small, small, smallest. Okay. So here it is, you have got the, the first word here is accomplish. Accomplish means a person who helps to do a crime. That is accomplish. You can say Lady Macbeth. An accomplish to uh, Macbeth in killing their king. Anonymous. Name not known. You know many anonymous letters sometimes people send to authorities because they are afraid. They don't uh, put their signature or I mean, write their names there. So that is unknown, unknown. Anonymous, anonymous soldiers, it's unknown soldiers. Perpetrator, I mean, it's a person who commits a crime. It's a perpetrator, something bad. Blasphemy, blasphemy means Sin against God, speaking against God, that is blasphemy means. Circumlocutions, in roundabout way of speaking. You know, in the famous one, uh, Dr. Johnson's, uh, what is the definition of cigarette? Cigarette is fire at one end and fool at the other end. <laughs> that is circumlocutions, roundabout way of speaking. A colluded, to collude means to get into an agreement or a, an understanding with somebody to do harm to others. Not good things, colluded. Collusion, colluded. Complacent, complacent means be satisfied. You are satisfied with yourself. Complacent. Send, send that you may be a fool, but still you are very complacent about your achievements and your great qualities. So that is complacency. Heinous means almost horrible, terrible and horrible deed. For example, killing one's father or a son, father killing son, these are, or mother killing. For example, we can see in Hamlet's. What happened is that the, uh, the husband's uncle kills harmless father. Harmless uncle kills harmless father. That is a heinous deed, heinous. Credulous, I mean easily believing. There are some people, you know, if you ask them something, then they will immediately tell something, they will believe you without questioning. That is means credulous. So this, with these words we will be shortening this passage given here. First I will read the passage and then we will go to these words, once again, no need not explain the, the meanings, I think the meanings are very clear to you so far, okay? So here we go, there we are. Lady Macbeth persuaded Macbeth her husband to murder Dungan by her words, deeds and body language. She assured him that the act would remain one that had been done by an unknown person. In fact, she was the one who prepared the plans for killing Dungan. She even uttered words impiously and profanely about God. She used many roundabout ways of expressions. She entered into a secret understanding or agreement between her husband and herself in order to do harm to her lord and king, the innocent Dungan. She was satisfied with her own character and achievement that she assured him that a little water would clean them of that terrible and most hated deed. Macbeth was too ready to believe what his wife had said. That is the passage. Now with the words that we already studied, that is one word for clauses and phrases. We can summarize it in this way. I will read out the summary also. Here you are. Lady Macbeth was Macbeth's accomplice. Say that accomplice in murdering Daniel. She assured him that the deed would remain anonymous, unknown. Helper in a crime, accomplice means. She was, she was the perpetrator of the murder. It's by words and all those things. And she, by her words, she committed blasphemy. She used many certain locutions. She colluded with Macbeth. She was complacent about herself. She had no inhibitions to commit the heinous deed. Macbeth was credulous and acted as per her directions. So that is it. So with this, a few words, if you have got a few words with you like this, long passages, longest passages can be reduced to short and sweet passages. So hope that you are following. This is useful to you. So till we meet again. Bye. Have a nice time.